evening. We get right to it. The big economic bailout plan and big trouble tonight. It means more confusion for the nation's finances and the presidential race. At one point today, a bipartisan deal seemed all but done. But certain Republicans weren't having it at a White House summit that included John McCain and Barack Obama apparently did nothing to move things along. We begin our live team coverage now with Grant Rampey. He's standing by live for us in Washington. Grant? Well, first they have a deal, then they don't. All sides are close. Now they're far apart. Everyone's still talking, as we understand, but the story keeps changing depending on who you hear it from and what kind of progress they're making tonight. But we understand somewhere up here on Capitol Hill, Treasury Secretary Hank Paulson is trying to keep discussions back on track. I now expect we will indeed have a plan that can pass the House. That was early this afternoon. You know what this is? This is butt fuck America time. That's what this is. Right now, Barack Obama's holding one fucking arm, that old fucking buzzard's holding the other arm, pulling the American worker over a fucking table while George Bush straps on the huge iron dick that says budget plan. Working toward a compromise bailout deal, as they had been for days, lawmakers appeared to be still somewhat at odds. But we're very confident that we can act expeditiously. Then it was over to the White House for a historic gathering with key negotiators, House... Here we go! King of the butt fucks! Right there, George Bush! He's gonna make sure that this country is corrupt royally! Senate leaders and with the two presidential candidates fresh off the campaign trail. There you go, guy one that's holding your right arm. Trail. All of us around the table take this issue very seriously. And we know we've got to get something done as quickly as possible. Then an hour into that meeting, uh, we hadn't gotten an agreement. A clear sign that it was back. We haven't gotten to that agreement because you're a bunch of fucking shitheads. Listen, fuck. Get to this is very simple. Everything is about to fall the fuck apart. So what kind of a fucking deal are you trying to work out? Okay? To stalemate, or worse, some nationally recognized economists had told Republicans the Paulson plan is a bad plan. It will not solve problems. It will create more problems. We're rushing to judgment. But there never was a, a, a deal. But I do believe the meeting was important. Here they go. They brought this guy up from the fucking Smithsonian Institute. Can we get a fucking younger president at least? Another choice of a fucking livable age? To move the process along. John McCain did nothing to help. He only hurt the process. So they're disputing. Yeah. She was hurting the process. See all these motherfucking fat cats collecting over a hundred thousand dollars a year right there? That's the biggest problem we have in this country. Over who's holding things up, how big the bailout package should be, whether it ought to be government funded or privately financed with the feds providing a kind of insurance policy. That's one of the new wrinkles. For his part, Barack Obama suggests Democrats are in agreement that it's Republicans who need to keep talking to Paulson and the president to, to figure out uh, what exactly? Here we go. He's holding your right arm. One is holding the left. He's holding your right arm. They're both pulling you over the table, America, because that's what they're working on. The what? Oh, maybe private sectors and private people should pay for it. You know what they mean? The common Joe's gonna pay for it. That's what they're looking to do. They're butt fucking everybody. It's time for America to speak up and tell these motherfuckers, why don't you all rich fuckers pay up for it? Uh, they want additionally to see uh, to make this thing work. Lawmakers promise to keep talking through the night. As for the big presidential debate set to take place... All they're doing through the night is getting blowjobs from fucking prostitutes that they're charging the American taxpayers for. Tomorrow night in Mississippi, we understand it's still on. Barack Obama says he'll be there, John McCain might be. And one bit of breaking news, J.P. Morgan, we've just learned, has agreed to acquire the troubled thrift Washington Mutual for $1.9 billion. Hey, check this out. They could afford $1.9 billion. Looks like the rich is doing good making money. They're just fucking us all in the ass. And no one's doing a fucking thing. America's just going to bend over and George Bush is going to finish our asses off with that big iron dick of his. That's all the fuck that's going to happen. 
Flavio 13 out.